Walter Momper next to the former Chancellor Willy Brandt. Brandt was mayor of West Berlin at the time the wall was built. Momper was in office when the wall came down. In 1989, the Social Democrat was governing in coalition with the West Berlin Greens, called the Alternative List. West Berlin was certainly different. Places like here at Potsdamer Platz. Some areas on the border with the wall were frankly bizarre looking. The wall was still an oppressive presence for West Berliners. But most of them learned to live with the enforced border. A few days before the 9th of November, Momper received some hints from the communist East German leadership that it would soon be granting citizens some freedom to travel. Just hours before the border opened, Momper made an appeal. Over the next few days and weeks, especially on the weekends, we'll be getting a lot of visitors from East Germany. Many are discussing what that will mean in our city. I'd like to call on all Berliners to welcome the East German visitors with open arms. And I'd like to take this opportunity to tell the citizens of East Germany who want to visit all of us, please, if you're coming, come on the trains and subways. Boosting public transport was one of Momper's administration's main concerns. The bus lanes he introduced were very controversial, but that policy turned out to be a stroke of luck. After the fall of the wall, traffic didn't deadlock. Buses brought East Germans smoothly from the border to the West Berlin shopping street, the Kudam, and back. Trains and the subway also eased the movement of the masses. Today is a great day. The wall no longer divides us. Anyone who was at the border yesterday will never forget that day and night. Freedom to travel is a human right. East German citizens exercised that human right yesterday. At the time, Mompa became known around the world. The man with the red scarf was only mayor of West Berlin for 20 months. But they were quite some 20 months. <laughs>